tell me a little bit about uh, Christmas growing up. Me? Christmas? Yeah, yeah. Well, I tell you, Christmas was a big day for us kids. It was so big a day. The day before is the time that you get your tree. Yeah, okay. Not, not earlier. Yeah, you just like out, Finland, make, I think. You go out in a big snow bay and look for a tree. The Christmas Eve, that's, and decorated. And I, <laughs> I remember our bed was there and the tree was there. And I'm going to watch when Santa Claus comes. Down the chimney? He's going to come down the chimney. <laughs> Woke up in the morning. He, the presents were there. How, how did he get there? Uh, I was watching for him. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, uh, and, how, uh, old, how old do you remember? Our Christmas Eve Sunday school program, always Christmas Eve. Okay. That was a big highlight, Christmas Eve program. Always waited for it. Uh, it never was many a week before or, or later. Christmas Eve. I always look forward to Christmas Eve. Uh, the program. It was very, a big event for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, nothing special about anything else, a normal Christmas meal. But so happy to get up in the morning. Look, what are these gifts, you know? On Christmas Day, the gifts would be there? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that was, it was exciting. Christmas was exciting. Sure, look forward to it. And Are you, looking for and you never know what kind of gifts you're going to get. With the small the, gifts, of course. Here. The juice. <laughs> Went to the neighbor boy's cats. house. Three boys. Oh. Their uh, Christmas tree was just loaded, loaded with uh, tr fr toys. Way more than maybe tw 10, 20 toys. You know oh, where the boy. They, is? they really had them. So, uh, otherwise, you know, They're just. Covered. Uh, Right but below. it was a big event. I, I really uh, enjoyed Christmas. Side, there yeah. Be Did you have a my job meal? is to go get the tree. Oh. And I, I think my mom did the decorating. They had um, t tinsels, tinsels and 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 bulbs, and it looked nice. It, it fairly high, just a normal size Christmas tree, but full of snow. <laughs> Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, the, the, Chris, the Christmas trees stood for twelve days after Christmas. Twelve days after Christmas. Yeah, then you took it down. But that was traditional. Everybody got their tree Christmas Eve, Eve that afternoon. And uh, I didn't mind going out woods, you walking around the heavy, heavy snow. Didn't bother to go. Look. Searching for, I don't remember what I used to cut it down with, my axe or something, you know, maybe this big. Uh, but in, in grade school, our job every year was to go get a tree for the school, for the, our, our room, from third grade on. And in third grade on, the teacher gave us a penny. I think she gave us a penny for cutting a tree down. Don't cut down a uh, balsam, cut down the screws. I didn't know what a balsam was. We all came back with a balsam. <laughs> and and the, tr uh, the ceilings were this high, and the, and the trees uh, wouldn't fit that high. That's, it's hard to judge the, the size of a yeah. tree in the woods and until you brought it in, in, in the room. Yeah. Not a balsam. What is a balsam? What is a spruce? No, no, <laughs> never, explain, <laughs> never explain what a balsam or spruce. Is. But from third, fourth, fifth, sixth, that was a highlight. That was a highlight. You got the day off school. To go get a tree. To get a tree, a whole bunch of students. We made a full day. And made sure that we would not come back with a tree before school closing. You know, it was make sure that the school day was over before it came back. Sounds like you guys just played in the woods. Yeah, and uh, for that day we uh, would drag it, you know, on on, on the road, and the branches would be on one side. <laughs> so you put it in a room, 
you had to show the side that had branches and the other side was bare from dragging. <laughs> but we went this way, that way. It was a big event. I tell you, that was a big event to go out there in the woods and uh, the boys are uh, having fun all day long. Women sometimes walk many miles. Many really? miles. Yeah. Hmm. And there were farmers that had uh, children my age, and they were part of the group and stopped at their house and warmed up in uh, this direction, that direction. So uh, it was a highlight, one highlight of Christmas. So a lot of things about Christmas that were highlights. Yeah. Yeah. They were enjoyable days. Enjoyable when I didn't have to be in school. <laughs> oh, I tell you, that was, I just, I just enjoyed it so much. Do you remember if you got like a week off of school around Christmas, a couple days? Do you remember? Yeah, I think uh, I'm sure one week. Okay. I'm sure one week. Yeah. Not two weeks, one week. Yeah, I don't remember the timing on that. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, we always were uh, wore sk uh, winter boots in school. Never had shoes. The winter shoes you wore outside, you wore inside. And of course, something get pretty warm with uh, you know warm boots. And some had uh, b b boots that are this high. <laughs> in school, in school, yeah. Yeah, in summer, I mean, when it gets warm in May, wore those big boots in school. Huh. <laughs> yeah, like that you use for fishing. <laughs> yeah, everything, everybody's so poor. They had no money for anything. <laughs> yeah. They used to call them swampers. The, the boots they had that were called swampers. I, I want my swampers. <laughs> you remember if they're leather or rubber or plastic? Or? They were kind of leather. They, leather, yeah. I think it was a rubbery bottom. Yeah. Bottom, and from there up is a leather. <laughs> Wore it all winter. Yeah. You know, never had never had shoes for winter. No, October, November, December, all the winter. Boots. <laughs> yeah. Come in the house from outside and had to sweep the snow off the boats. And <laughs> yeah. One pair of socks. Mom used to, mom used to make a, need a pair of socks and uh, one pair. I don't ever know if they're washed. Yeah. They didn't mittens. They didn't need mittens. About this high, get wet, they'd shrink, they'd be this high. They'd be shrinked from here to here, and just a, something for your fingers. <laughs> Were the mittens knitted? Yeah. My mom knit the, uh, on a wool, whatever the material was. And of course, they're loose fitting, and then they get wet, they just shrink. They just shrink. Yeah, and then we had uh, liners over, uh, what do you call them, choppers? choppers. Yeah. Uh, knit and chopper, that was our winter, uh, winter a year for your hands. Everything got wet. And one pair of, one pair of choppers so for the winter. Oh yeah. Yeah, use them all winter long. Yeah, so. Uh, <laughs> Did you have a meal at Christmas Day? A meal at home? Uh, a Christmas meal? What yeah, I don't remember of? much about the Christmas meal. That, was, that wasn't much of a concern. Couldn't get out there with there's no skates and a hockey stick and go play hockey and play hours and, and a block away, block and a half away, ice rink. Boy, yeah, Christmas Day was. On ice rink, playing hockey, hour after hour, 
nice warm shed, shack, and uh, it was a lot of room for a lot of people. And, uh, it was plenty big. And we used to go out in the fall and cut wood for the shack, uh, ice ring shack and on somebody's property. So somebody squealed at us, hey, you're cutting away to the neighbor's property. <laughs> so we had to stop. <laughs> But we could have gone other places down, down the road. You know, the, the public land. Why did we go on a farmer's land? <laughs> yeah, but uh, you know, acres and miles and miles of wood, trees that are falling down. Why did, it, why did we, why, why didn't we cut those? Of course, we didn't have a chainsaw. It's just, there was big cross cuts. One guy here, one guy. 